Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. All right, so here he is, the undefeated Israel Adesanya. His crowning achievement, at least to this point in time, UFC 236. A monumental, unanimous decision win over Kelvin Gastelum in what was one of the best title fights you or I have ever seen. One of the greatest fights of all time. And to watch Israel Adesanya go out in round five, when the fight is on the line and have his very best round of the fight, was inspiring for anyone that likes mixed martial arts. If you're a fan of a young guy like Israel, to see him do that, to earn that title, is very, very assuring as he's getting ready to go forward in his career. To achieve that goal in such a short amount of time is truly, truly unheard of. Our tale of the tape for this much-anticipated middleweight encounter. Adesanya is 10 years his senior. He will have a five-inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of nine wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Black Mamba. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 25 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? being applied here. Oh, right to the mouth. Oh, and now he gives up his back. So if the hooks get in, this could be the end. This could be the end. Because there are too many on, options for something. such a phenomenal grappler to be on. Unbelievable! He got him! <laughs> yeah, we're just getting going, and now the fight's over. But excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first. You've heard us say it before, but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 38 seconds of the very first round. Including the winner by knockout, Black Mamba! Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I gotta think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. 
Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.